they're going to be pretty big very, very soon. In fact, they're, they're getting there now. The drummer sounded a lot like Biffy Clyro to me, which is going to be a good thing. The lead's got a good voice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it got a bit dragged out on the actual performance. Yeah, it sounded really raw. It sounded very raw, and you could see her literally battling yeah. to get herself across, and I thought that added to the performance. Well, I suppose that, that, that's the problem with like sound engineering and live performance, isn't it? Yeah, I like that quite a lot. We started because there was no guitar music that was like sort of guitar music we really liked. So hopefully our impact, if there is any, will be to spur people onto doing that sort of thing. The Smiths are kind of a big influence, but actually it's like more early REM in a way. Echo and the Bunny Man. Echo and the Bunny Man. It's obvious, we wear them on our sleeves. Mine is more The Cure. Uh, it's one of those, like, we could just try and have songs, really. Like, bands go for the sound. Yeah, yeah. So without trying to really create a sound that had already happened, but they, like, forgot about the song. Batman versus Superman, two movies. What are DC doing? Are they trying to play catch up to Marvel? So is this linked directly into the last Superman film? They had Man of Steel origin movie, and yeah. now, effectively, Batman vs Superman is basically their Avengers. But, but I think Avengers, they were really good at each character having some sort of storyline. It would be very difficult for them to introduce Ben Affleck and all of those new characters that's, and have a coherent his, plot. That's why they got two movies, though. I'm really interested to see Ben Affleck. I think he's going to really put it out of the bag. But the movie itself, uh, it's going to be a bit of a mess, too many things going on, too yeah. many characters. It's going to be really tricky to pull off. Oh.